Hello, this is Flight Instructor Online. Today we are going to make a mass and balance calculator for the Cessna 172 SP. Besides that it is a legal requirement for the pilot in command to be able to demonstrate that your aircraft is loaded within the limits, it is also for your own safety and that of your passengers. Just as a reminder of what may happen. What we can see here are some of the forces that act on the aircraft in level flight. The green arrow is the lift vector, which is equal and opposite to the weight of the aircraft and the downward force created by the tail. Obviously, when the aircraft is too heavy, it needs more lift to get off the ground. For that you need more speed, with more speed comes more drag, and now your little engine is struggling to keep you in the air. The balance can be even more critical. In this slide you can see the center of gravity is too far forward. As a result, the tail needs to generate a larger downforce. The wing needs to generate more lift to compensate, which creates more drag, and reduces the aircraft performance. When the center of gravity is too far aft you have an even bigger problem. There is no force on the tail required which means the aircraft can hold any pitch without any stick input. In other words, it becomes extremely unstable. The manufacturer has determined the limits of the center of gravity position and presented us with the center of gravity envelope. Whenever you load the aircraft within the center of gravity envelope, it is safe to fly. You can see that the aft limit is the same for all weights, because it is a stability limit. And because the forward limit is a performance limit, you can see that the envelope becomes narrower at increased weight. To calculate the center of gravity position we need the aircraft POH and the current weighing schedule. Both should always be available in the aircraft. Let's first have a look at the POH and gather all the information that we need. In chapter 2 we find the limitations of the airplane, the weight limits, and the center of gravity limits. Also we can find the maximum usable fuel of the airplane. In chapter 6 we can find the loading arrangements and the center of gravity envelope. From the current weight schedule we can derive the current weight of the empty aircraft called the basic weight and the center of gravity position, given in arm and in moment. Note that arm is the location of the center of gravity and the moment is the center of gravity location multiplied by the weight. Let's open a spreadsheet and make a weight imbalance calculation. There are several ways of doing it. I will show you now the way that I find that is the easiest way. First, let's collect all the weights and add them up to determine the weight of the aircraft. The basic empty weight we have found on the active load schedule, 1722.5. And these weights are all in pounds. On board we have a pilot. A co-pilot, one passenger, two passengers, and we have two baggage holds. All this information can be found in the POH. Um, on this picture here you can see the pilot, the passenger, the rear bench, baggage area 1 and baggage area 2. We also need fuel. And if we give these uh, data numbers, so let's say, I don't know about you, but I kind of like to work in kilograms. Let's say I'm the pilot, I'm 60 kilograms. I need pounds. So I'll type pounds equals the weight in kilograms multiplied by 2.2. That's accurate enough for weight imbalance. My weight is 132 pounds. My co-pilot, in the rear I have another person, 
75 kilograms a child 15 kilograms of bags and 3 kilograms in the aft package hold if I add all these numbers up I have found the zero fuel weight now we need to add the fuel fuel is usually measured in US gallons and our airplane can take 53 US gallons on board the weight of Afgas is 6 pounds per US gallon so we'll multiply 53 by 6 and we have our fuel weight in pounds if we sum the zero fuel weight and the fuel on the ramp we have a ramp mass Now that we have the weight of the aircraft, let's see where the center of gravity position is. So the moment is 69317. And the arm is the moment divided by the weight in pounds. So the arm, the center of gravity location of the empty airplane, is at 40 inch aft of the datum. I need to find the information for all the stations. Here you can see, depending on the position of the seat, for an average number you can use 37. And for the co-pilot. The rear passengers, 73 inch. The baggage area, in the front 95 and the aft baggage area 123 to obtain a moment for these stations we multiply the weight in pounds by the arm and we can copy this down for all the cells just for easy reading I just remove the decimal numbers to obtain the center of gravity position for the empty airplane, all I need to do is add up all the moments to obtain a total moment for the airplane. And for the arm, I divide the moment by the weight of the airplane. And I can see the airplane is loaded with a center of gravity 44.3 inches aft of the datum. Let's repeat these steps for the fuel as you can see the center of gravity arm for all the fuel is 48 inch aft of datum so fuel 48 the moment of our fuel is the pounds fuel weight in pounds multiplied by the arm to obtain the position of the center of gravity of the fully loaded airplane add up these moments and we divide the moment by the weight of the airplane. Now we have two coordinates in our envelope. We can see obviously that the airplane is too heavy. The limit is 2550 pounds and the airplane shows 2630 pounds. So instead of telling my passengers to just go home, I can probably do with a little bit less fuel. With 30 gallons, I can see the airplane is loaded just under 2,500 pounds. The center of gravity position of the fully loaded airplane is at 44.5. There, that's inside the envelope. The zero fuel mass is 2312 pounds and the balance arm 44.3. During the flight our airplane will be at any point between these two. We can see that our airplane is 
lo loaded within limits for the entire flight. So far this Excel sheet can already save you some time, but you will still need to manually plot in the result in the envelope. To make that automatic is actually quite simple. We are going to make a graph for the envelope in a few simple steps. To draw the envelope, we can simply look at the envelope in chapter 6 and basically copy this into Excel. To find the exact numbers, we have to look in chapter 2 from the POH. Here you can find the weight limits and the center of gravity limits. We'll start with making an envelope for the normal category. To draw the envelope, I'll need the weight and the arm positions of every point. So we'll start with 1500 pounds, 35 inch. The next point is up here. Just by looking at the graph I can see it's pretty much 1950 and 35. But I can of course confirm all this by looking into the POH and find the exact numbers. Indeed the forward limit here is 35 inches aft of datum and 1950 pounds. The next point forty one inches at twenty five hundred and fifty pounds. The next point is aft here forty seven point three inches at all weights. So at twenty five hundred and fifty all the way down to 1500 so we have arrived here at the bottom now we need to draw a line back to the left so we end up at 1535 right where we started now to visualize this envelope we go to insert scatter Scatter with straight lines and markers. When we open this we have an empty field. When we click here on select data we can add the data for this weight and balance graph. The first series, let's call this normal category. We have the x values all the arms and we have the y values we select whatever was in that field delete it and we drag down all the weights in pounds and voila we have the envelope the next field we can add add field is the loading in other words our current weight and balance information so in the X fields we have the arms, so I have 44.3 and I hold control down and I have 44.5. In the Y values I have 23.12 and I have 24.92. And you can see the loading of the aircraft. Well this is all very small but it is correct. All we need to do now close this first, is select format axis, click the minimum and the maximum to manual or fixed numbers and make it something sensible so if I just take a look at the example from the POH this graph starts at 34 and ends at 49 so why not just copy that 34 49. I'll do the same for the y-axis. We'll start at 1500 and we go up to 2600.
Now we can see that the airplane is loaded within limits. To add the utility envelope, we can just repeat the process with the information for the utility category. So the forward limit is 35 inches up to 19, 1950. So we'll start at the left bottom corner, 1500, 35. 1950, 35, so far it is the same. But now we go into a straight line to 37.5 at 2200 pounds. Also, the half limit is more restrictive. At all weights, we have a limit of 40.5 inches after datum. And of course from the lower right corner we need to draw a line back to the origin, which is the same as the first line. Select our graph, design, select data, add. Utility, category, x values, select all the arms or center of gravity positions, y values, select all the weights in pounds, and voila, we have the utility category envelope. So what do I need to do to move my airplane center of gravity into the utility envelope? Well first of all I need to remove all the baggage from the baggage hold. I need to tell my rear passengers to go home. I need to lose a little bit of fuel. And now I can see that my airplane is loaded inside the utility category. Now the last thing we'll need to do is make this a nice, nice layout for printing. So what I normally do is select print layout and remove empty fields place the envelope information outside of the print range reorder this a bit yeah I think uh, if I do a print preview this looks pretty good also if you wish you can add uh, any details you like so let's for example say the registration of the aircraft, the date of today, you can do all sorts of things, make it as simple or as complicated if you want. But this is the basics I just wanted to show you. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I would like to encourage you all to make your own weight and balance file for your aircraft so that you never have to spend more than one minute of your time to confirm that your aircraft is loaded properly. Please feel free to leave any comments below and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This was Flight Instructor Online, thanks for watching.